Next, uh, the Israeli government has advanced plans for some 5,700 new homes in the occupied West Bank, despite US pressure to stop settlement expansion, uh, which it sees as an obstacle to peace with the Palestinians. A US spokesperson said Washington was deeply troubled by the development. Four Israeli settlers were shot dead by Palestinians last week, prompting days of settler violence. A violence between Palestinians and Israelis has flared since Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu was re-elected last year. Earlier, the UN Security Council met to discuss the issue. The members of the Security Council encouraged additional steps to restore a durable calm and de-escalate tensions and called on all parties to refrain from unilateral actions that further inflame tensions. They further urged for restraint to reduce tension and prevent further escalation. Well, we're going to talk through this issue. Joining me now, Ambassador Gerald Friedson. He is a distinguished senior fellow on US diplomacy and the director of Arabian Peninsula Programme at the nonpartisan think tank at the Middle East Institute and previously served in the Obama administration. Thank you so much for coming on the programme. It's a pleasure to be with you tonight. So what do you make of these latest actions? Well, I think that it's uh, very troubling, as, as, the, uh, as we heard in the Security Council, uh, that uh, although we got through the Ramadan period and the Eid al-Fitr afterwards, uh, that there has been a steady increase in the violence on both sides, uh, and that uh, we look to be uh, heading into a situation that uh, is potentially quite explosive. So it, uh, it's uh, quite correct for the Biden administration to be very troubled by what they're seeing on the ground. I'm very troubled by what they're seeing on the ground. What kind of actions, what kind of influence do you want them to exert? Well, this is a, it's a problem for the, for the administration because I think that uh, Joe Biden, uh, as he's entering into a campaign period, uh, is going to uh, want to, to try to keep the situation uh, in the Middle East and the Israeli-Palestinian context as quiet as possible. Uh, there is no good option for him, really. Uh, I think the administration is unlikely and unwilling to really exert a great deal of pressure on the Israeli government. And yet, really, nothing short of a great deal of pressure is going to make much difference in trying to bring the two sides closer together. And how do you evaluate the role of Netanyahu here? Well, I think that Netanyahu has made a deal with the devil uh, in his desperation to get back into the prime minister's seat. He has brought people into his government uh, who are bomb throwers, who are interested in exacerbating t uh, tensions, who are interested in provocative actions. Uh, and we've seen it consistently. And Bibi Netanyahu has demonstrated no capacity whatsoever uh, to really control his, his administration. And, well, well, given that, then, I want to ask you to look ahead, uh, look forward. Where do you see this? Well, I think that, it, again, it's going to be extremely difficult for the Biden administration and the larger international community to keep the situation uh, from, uh, from spinning out of control. Uh, on the one hand, on the Palestinian side, you have very weak leadership. Uh, and uh, really not much uh, ability to control a situation. On the Israeli side, uh, again, you have a government that has demonstrated no willingness really to make the kinds of, of concessions and the kinds of steps that they would need in order to calm tensions. And I think that basically what we're going to be seeing over the next year, year and a half, uh, is really uh, an effort to uh, min minimize uh, tension and to mitigate whatever a uh, situation might arise, and it's going to be a tightrope that the Biden administration is going to have to walk. Well, Ambassador, I'm scrabbling around here. <laughs> there, there doesn't seem to be any chink of light. There doesn't seem to be anything uh, that you can search for anyone in the international community or internally to, to seize on and work with here. Well, it's... <laughs> I, I don't mean to ruin your evening, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but but I, I think it's uh, I think it's a very serious situation, and uh, um, you know it, it is going to to press the uh, the Biden administration to be uh, uh, to take a harder line with the Netanyahu government. Uh, but they're uh, really not going to want to do that because of the domestic political implications uh, that might arise, and they don't want to open up 
um, themselves to criticism that they're being uh, overly harsh on on uh, on Jerusalem. So uh, mm -hmm. it's it, it's a hard it's a hard situation, and uh, Joe Biden is going to have to try to tap dance through this. Well, wow, very uh, worrying and concerning, but we really appreciate your expertise in talking us through it. Ambassador, thank you very much. Pleasure.